Hello everyone, welcome back to your own chemistry channel and you are watching DMG chemistry classes and in this video I am going to talk about the band nature of UV visual spectrum. So friends in my previous video we discussed the instrumentation of UV visual spectroscopy and the presentation of spectral data and we also discussed that how do we record the UV visual spectrum and spectrum is the plot of absorbance versus wavelength. And I also told you that number of peaks in the spectrum depends upon the number of electronic transitions which are possible within the molecules of the absorbing substance. Okay. And I also told you that in the spectrum we don't observe sharp peaks. Okay. What we observe? We observe broad peaks like this. And these broad peaks are called as broad bands. And this is the band nature of UV visible spectroscopy or UV visible spectrum. Okay. And in this video, I'm going to explain that why do we have these broad peaks instead of these sharp peaks. Okay. But before that, if you have not subscribed to my channel, then please do subscribe and also like and share my videos. Okay. So friends, now let us suppose that there is only one electronic excitation possible within the molecule of the absorbing substance. Okay. And the electron is excited from the ground electronic state to the excited electronic state. So this is ground electronic state and this is excited electronic state. Okay. And let us suppose that the wavelength which is absorbed for this excitation is lambda 1. Okay, then in the spectrum, we should have had a sharp peak like this at uh, this uh, wavelength that is lambda 1 nanometers. Okay, but instead of this sharp peak, we observe a broad peak in the spectrum like this. What is the reason for it? The reason is that due to the vibrational motion of the molecules, the electronic states or the electronic energy levels are further divided into vibrational energy levels like this. So the ground, this ground state will be divided into vibrational energy levels like this. So let this is the ground state vibrational energy level. This is the first excited vibrational energy level then likewise okay and these vibrational energy levels are denoted by nu that is nu naught nu one nu two likewise the excited electronic state will also be divided into the vibrational energy levels due to the vibrational motion of the molecules okay this is again nu naught new one new two or we can also call it a v naught v1 v2 here uh, and v naught v these are the v naught v1 v2 are the vibrational energy levels of ground state and these are the uh, vibrational energy levels of excited state okay and further due to the rotational motion of the molecules these vibrational energy levels are further subdivided into the rotational energy levels okay like this okay so these lines are representing the uh, rotational energy levels with our, which are present uh, within the vibrational energy levels understood now here we were expecting only a single transition but actually now there will be a number of transitions possible between the any of the vibrational or rotational energy level of the ground state to the any of the vibrational or rotational energy level of the excited state like this okay So now number of excitations are possible and these transitions or excitations they differ slightly in their energy okay and number of wavelengths will be absorbed 
understanding that the wavelengths which have energy corresponding to these transitions will be absorbed so the number of wavelengths will be absorbed this means that in addition to in addition to what in addition to the lambda maximum okay number of other wavelengths will also have significant absorbance that is the wavelengths this wavelength it is it will also have a good absorbance these wavelengths these wavelengths all these wavelengths which are in the vicinity of this lambda maximum they will have good absorbance okay so the, in this way number of wavelengths will be absorbed okay and instead of having this sharp peak we will have a broad peak like this understood and you can clearly see that the absorb absorption of radiation starts from this wavelength okay and it continues like this understanding like this and it continues up to this wavelength so this is the reason that we have what the broad peaks or broad bands instead of the sharp peaks in the uv visible spectrum and here i have drawn the uv spectrum of 13 butadiene and you can clearly see that the lambda maximum of this compound is 217 nanometers okay what in addition to this lambda maximum the other wavelengths which are in the its vicinity that is these wavelengths these wavelengths these wavelengths okay these wavelengths have also significant absorbance that's why we observe a sharp sorry broad peak in the spectrum and you can clearly see that here the absorption starts from the 200 nanometers absorption starts from the 200 nanometer and it continues up to 240 nanometers so in this way number of wavelengths will be absorbed because the number of transitions has also been increased due to the division of the ground state and the excited electronic states into the vibrational energy levels and the rotational energy levels okay so this is the bad nature of uv visible spectrum let us explain it with the help of absorption spectrum so let us suppose that we have a solution of absorbing substance here so this is the solution of an absorbing substance absorbing substance and the light having different wavelength is allowed to pass through the solution okay then let us suppose that two electronic excitations are possible within the molecules of the absorbing substance then the two wavelengths which have energy corresponding to those transitions will be absorbed and those wavelengths will be missing from the transmitted light and when the transmitted light is allowed to fall on a photographic plate then we will observe two sharp lines or we should have observed observed uh, two sharp lines on the photographic plate understanding corresponding to the uh, two wavelengths which have been absorbed by the substance but actually we don't observe sharp lines here why why don't we observe here because in this case as i explained number of transitions will be there okay between the various uh, vibrational and rotational energy levels and number of wavelengths will be absorbed so instead of having a sharp line here we will have a group of closely spaced lines like this that is closely spaced lines and these closely spaced lines indicates that 
number of wavelengths has been absorbed by the substance like this or here also we will have a group of closely spaced line and these groups of closely spaced lines are called as absorption bands understood so this is the band nature of uv visible spectrum so this is all about it and in my next video i am going to discuss the different types of electronic transitions which are possible in the uv visible spectroscopy so keep watching my video like and share my videos and subscribe my channel thank you very much